welcome to Angling For You. Today you join me on a fun sort of journey through my gear as it is. Uh, I get this question so many times, at least three, four, even five times a week. What do I fish with? What gear do I have? What luggage do I have? What box do I have? Pole, rods, etc. What I'm going to do today is just go through my kit. I'm going to start and, and go around each part of it. Not spending hours on it, it's not going to be a massive video. Just a little bit of in-depth of what I do, what I fish with, and uh, that's it really. I'm going to spend most of the time behind the camera and just go around giving you a little bit of commentary on what that is and, and what I'm fishing with. So let's get to it. Right guys, we're going to start on the box. As you can see, it's an ST8. Um, I've had it about two and a half years. It's um, just probably four years old or so. When I got it, you have to tell me in the comments, they're quite expensive boxes, but you know, I picked it up for a reasonable price. I've spent quite a bit of money on getting it to how I want it. There's a couple of scuffs here and there, but it's a fishing box at the end of the day. I've uh, painted bits black and added obviously those side trims, uh, fascias and, and, and a new one on the back because that was broken. Also got that custom made seat on the top, uh, just again a bit of aesthetics and match the colours of the angling for you with the logo on the back, um, it was just perfect. Uh, I'll show you in the side compartments, obviously there's a lot of space in it and more space than I need probably, um, but the main two drawers that I use. Um, are these two so as you can see it's all sectioned off i've got feeders and everything that i need uh, to get to and uh, once you're on the box obviously it's sat sat easy and again uh, all my my hooks and bands and progen line and uh, super glue if i need it and uh, always get insulating tape if you're not getting insulating tape in your box you need it and it's uh, such a good thing to have in your box you use it for everything and again i've uh, recently got a fascia for that uh, hooks um, and things like that I, I like to keep on this Ventolite tray at the back <clears throat> that's a newish addition to uh, my setup uh, I think that's a fantastic little bit of kit I love it, it fits perfectly behind me um, and obviously you've got the Ventolite uh, with the, the hood I just love that it's fantastic um, can't see me ever getting rid of that if I'm honest unless I bring something out that's, it, that's uh, equally better uh, so that's really the box in itself uh, attachment wise to that as you can see obviously I've got the double Daiwa sock with uh, the ripple bar um, and then down the other side I've got a, um, a quick change Preston uh, top kit holder and now to be honest I will move back to the kit safe that I had um, sooner or later uh, they were, that were great and I regret selling it a little bit if I'm honest um, <clears throat> the landing net head uh, and handle is uh, the handle itself which I'll go to the, the other end of it in a second just move my pole a little bit out of the way um, so the it's a speedex head as you can see I've got two of them I'll show you that when we go uh, back to the box but the landing net handle itself is a sort of four meter one um, carp style I'll go uh, just shift that out a little bit and that's the acrylite carp 3.6 should I say not four meters um, and the acrylite carp one really is absolutely solid as a rock that thing it is uh, super super strong and uh, really is a good piece of kit uh, leader is the first roller that I've got here it's a dual roller uh, makes it really easy like I discussed in my other videos about setting up its concept GT as it says just it's about 40 quid um, nothing special I will get another Maver roller in the future just so they can match on height and and colour you know what we like tackle tarts and all uh, so I'll go down to to the other end now obviously that mini don't come with the fishing gear that's my uh, little beast um, the second roller I've got I'm just gonna lay that out so you can see is a map roller and that's just again a dual one super stable great piece of kit is that um, really 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 good piece of kit and uh, we all know what this is obviously the Z82 Browning um, tight design pole I've, I've had that now for about a month <clears throat> loving it it's a fantastic bit of kit had some seriously big fish on it already and uh, hopefully lots of uh, fun 
moving forward there uh, and I've, uh, I've stacked the rods up on the other side what we'll do is I'll just turn the camera off and spin round and go to the other side and we'll have a, we'll have a so rods wise really um, I'm pretty trusty you know what you know what I like if you watch a lot of my videos the first one is a Daiwa Yankum bank this is an 11 foot uh, method feeder rod uh, I love it because it's uh, it's got that lovely flat action there on the handle so it can rest on your arm and uh, that's paired up with uh, one of the uh, Daiwa Ninja and that's uh, the, the um, limited edition gold edition one that they did um, and it, it comes with three different tips super strong landed well into double figure fish on it uh, great if I want a bit more distance and a bit more heavier feeders to cast I go with that one if I'm going for shorter and smaller setups I go with the old trusty which I've had for a few years now which is the Yankum Bank 10 foot and that's paired up with uh, a TDM reel and again uh, cork handled with a flat bit and um, you can see it's had plenty of wear I don't see myself getting rid of it to be honest I absolutely love it it's a great big bit of kit it's permanently bent on the tip uh, from so many fish catching on it which is uh, which is brilliant and, and again uh, we're going with a Daiwa Yankum Bank um, that is my pellet waggler and that's 12 foot pel uh, pellet waggler rod super strong again I've had really big fish nearly up to 20 pound on this uh, with even with this little uh, ninja reel um, just an awesome bit of kit the both ninja reels uh, and the TDM both came with two spools so one's got six pound hypersensor one's got eight pound hypersensor on there and just absolute beasts uh, including this bad boy this waggler I had my first barbel of eight and a half pound um, as well uh, which was on the river um, swale with Matt Richardson and also my P PB chub which were into the six pound range as well which is a massive chub um, both on that including the near 20 which I had on the top pond at Burtwood actually um, from under the trees with a, a chunk of meat so great capable water again it can cast long distance super strong um, and I, I stick with the Yankum banks um, although you know I have got another rod coming which I'm not going to go into I'll, all I'm going to say to you is it's Preston um, but I'm not going to say any more than that the, the I don't think I'll be getting rid of any of these these are the, the, the reasonable money you can pick them up second hand dead dead cheap 40 50 quid um, now second hand great bake kit don't need anything else in my opinion uh, what I'll do is I'll get up I'll flip you around and we'll have a look at the luggage so luggage wise you can see obviously I've got my kit bag there which is uh, pole roosts and pole roller style kit bag massive loads of space so it's Reeve so I got it when I got my box <clears throat> so I've had it for about two and a half years fits everything I need in it never any problems with it whatsoever just a great bit of kit um, and th they're not the cheapest things Reeve but they, d they do last um, and speaking of that that goes on to my second um, which is the little carry all uh, that again that one's I've had that for exactly the same amount of time caught some had some loads of bits and stuff in it and uh, you know it's just a great little basic piece of kit um, and uh, obviously the matching uh, bait bag uh, now the only thing with that is I did break the handle but I just tied it back on um, and that's probably well it's definitely my fault I overfilled it with stuff it was really heavy um, probably <laughs> about 15 to 20 kilo heavy um, so that my own fault uh, that you know the weak link but you know I just tied a knot on it and it's, ne it's I've had it another year on from that and it's never uh, never moved a muscle um, and then as you can see behind is uh, the Z82 bag uh, the eight top kits in there and I have now got some map uh, shallow kits uh, thanks to uh, Kel for those uh, which do interchange with uh, the Z82 um, and some other browning poles which I will be uh, showing you at some point no doubt when I'm doing the uh, the elastic for the hyperfusion hydrofusion so to say and uh, yeah and obviously I'll just move over to this side as you can see there's three ready ready rod bags which are just from those three rods that you've just seen so I can have them set up ready to go uh, for when I turn up to venue especially for fishing matches that works really well so I'll just jump back on camera and uh, we'll just right guys, so hopefully that um, satisfies your curiosity with what uh, what I fish with and what I've got um, to be honest I don't really have much more stuff than that I've 
really streamlined uh, my gear down it. I used to just accumulate and accumulate and accumulate lots of stuff. Um, I have got a few accessories I am showing you, like the attachments for um, the rod uh, for my feeder, you know, the quick interchange one. I've got two keep nets at home, which are adrenaline ones, which are in an adrenaline stink bag, which you'll have seen on some videos, things like that. Uh, other than that, in regards to my commercial fishing, that's it. I, like I say, I've streamlined it a lot to what I actually need. Uh, I, I have, like I said, I've got a one more rod coming and that's aimed for short chuck, short distance, um, like today, Snake Lake uh, fishing for sort of F1s and, and carp. So I'll go into that later on when that comes. But the other stuff uh, we could do in a later video uh, would be the stuff that I'm starting to now accumulate for the river. And again, I, I'm not accumulating tons, I'm doing it for what I need. So I've got a, a, a chair and a an hooking mat and a pike rod and start to accumulate my pike and my, my drop shotting kind of stuff with a little drop shotting rod. And I've, uh, I've got another sort of carp uh, rod with a bait runner, uh, which I use for um, fishing either feeder or lead for barbel or chub. Um, I'm looking at getting a new Black Widow uh, feeder rod for the rivers. Um, but other than that, at the moment, it's just what I need to have rather than what I want. Um, so yeah, I hope this, this answers the questions that people have been asking me. And uh, you know, it's always fun to go around the tackle and see what people else have got and any questions about it or any reasons to why I've chose these items other than what I've uh, just said just uh, hit me up uh, on any of the social media outlets thanks for watching guys join us on the Facebook group uh, at Angling For You the Instagram at Angling underscore for you uh, like and subscribe share with your friends thanks a lot tight lines